Hi, Erlen Bakke here, author of the international best-selling book Never Work Again and founder of multiple companies. Today I'm doing one of the favorite things that I like to do, which is going on a road trip. So we're in central London here, just uh, got the IMAX coming up. And uh, you might ask yourself, you know, I, I make good money in own companies and stuff like that. Do I own a car? The answer is yes, I do have a Porsche in the US. Uh, but in London, my options are not to have a car. Why? Well, because in London we have Uber, we have Zipcar, and then just down the road from where I live, we have Enterprise. So, seeing as I'm going on a weekend trip, I've decided to rent a car. But as an entrepreneur, you need to know that you know keeping your costs low is a smart thing to do. So what you'll find is like very wealthy entrepreneurs, they will keep on doing low cost things because it just makes sense so we're just crossing the bridge here so let's look over there and see what we can see there oh yes we have the london eye coming up and big ben as well so this is actually where i cycle every day uh, always loving the view and enjoying the freedom lifestyle and um, on the other side here we have saint paul's which is amazing and yeah, I just uh, really enjoy the freedom lifestyle and traveling. So let's go talk about more of the sort of uh, on-demand economy. So it's just so easy in a city like London to, you know, if you're doing a short trip, you just have an Uber there in a couple of minutes. And if you're doing like a day trip, you get a SIP car, which you pay about five, six pounds an hour for. And then on longer trips, you just rent the car. And, and you know, if you do the math, it'll show that it's way cheaper it's way cheaper to just use a car when you need to and not use a car when you don't have to got about a three hour drive in front of us uh, stuck in London traffic and uh, yeah let's have an amazing trip and journey <sighs> so day two of the road trip out of London and uh, found this running track close to where we're staying and so many people have excuses for not exercising not taking care of themselves but you know 1440 is what I have in common with Richard Branson Arnold Schwarzenegger Tom Cruise Leonardo DiCaprio you know the rest of the people in the world we all have the same amount of time yet some people seem to excel and other people don't. So, you know, when I have 30 minutes free, then I will make the most of that. I'll put my running shoes on, I'll go for a run, I come back, I feel energized, I, my body feels alive. You know, our bodies were made to move, made to move. And I also think that we need to surround ourselves with our good friends, the trees. So my message here is that if you have some time, Go work out, go move, because it makes you feel so much better. And I I have a busy life, I have lots of things to do. And I prioritize, you know, taking that jog, moving around, and also, you know, surrounding myself with nature, which I don't think we do enough of. Just being out here in the quiet forest is really, really nice. And uh, 1,140, 1, that's the amount of time we have on any given day. So that's what we have in common with all the greats. We all have the same amount of time in a day and some people just spend it differently. So I highly recommend, you know, always bring your running shoes with you wherever you go and just do that 10 minute run, 20 minute run, 30 minute run. It makes you feel amazing and uh, you get to see some nature as well. So at the Three Choirs Vineyard, we, uh, which you can see just behind here, one of the biggest in the UK, they make something like 200,000 bottles a year of white wine, 90% white wine and the red wine. Um, there's a re really good restaurant and you can go on this, uh, this walking tour, which basically shows you uh, the area and it takes about 30 minutes to walk around. It's got lots of uh, little information, uh, things written about, uh, the wine and why they do things the way they do things and they also have lots of sort of recorded things you can press um, Am I really interested in wine more and more actually the more I know about wine the more interested I get and uh, Definitely prefer a nicely nice tasting one 
there we can uh, got one of these information signs here scattered throughout the wine walk uh, 2.30 every day, p.m. They do a, uh, a guided wine walk. And of course you can do wine tasting, so you can have cheese and wine. And uh, yeah, it's in Gloucestershire, close to the Cotswolds, which we're heading afterwards on this beautiful weekend road trip. Seeing lots and lots of things, feeling refreshed. And uh, as always, nice to be out in the greenery. Here's another stunning view of the castle overlooking the croquet grounds and the forest of Dean and Y Valley is amazing. You can do so many things. Just show you a um, yeah. So basically, forest of Dean and Y Valley. You can do uh, cycling. You can do um, zip lining. You can go for long runs. You can go for long walks. You can do canoeing. There's boat rides, there's very cute villages, and um, this is definitely a place that I will go back to. Um, again, amazing to just be out in nature and enjoy just walking in the woods by myself. And uh, there's so many cool uh, things to do here as well. And definitely go check out Clearwell Castle, very beautiful as well. Stay in a bed and breakfast, and uh, you know, relax and have a nice time.